talk about a scary start to the holiday weekend for this young woman. The only thing I'm confused about is how big the sinkhole got, because I didn't know it would get that huge. Huge is the right word to describe it. And get this, it suddenly opened up and swallowed that woman's car while she was still inside. It happened at an intersection in Brooklyn Park, right in the middle of a neighborhood. Our Alan Henry is live along Shingle Creek Drive with the interview that you only see on WCCO. First though, Alan, what does that sinkhole look like tonight? Well, Neil, I got to say, it's a miracle nobody was hurt considering the size of this sinkhole that opened up right in the middle of this neighborhood. Just take a look at it behind me here. You can see construction crews hard at work inside of that sinkhole working to fill it now. But earlier today, it was a car filling that sinkhole, and the driver of it says she's definitely counting her blessings tonight. And it was just within 15 minutes. Under the, under the ground. Josie Russell says she was driving to get groceries when just blocks from her home, she tried to dodge what she thought was a puddle. It just kind of dropped into the puddle. So as it dropped into the puddle, I just saw water flooding in from the bottom and I got really scared. But before she could even do anything, she says the situation escalated. But water started coming in, so I, had, I knew like from instant, I was like, I have to get out because I knew I was going to sink in because I felt it sinking. Josie tried to open her front door but couldn't. So she moved to the back as neighbors watched and one helped. So I got up from the back seat. I opened the back door and the guy threw his hand out. He's like, oh, come out. He pulled my hand out. I was slipping a little bit, but I got out. And as soon as I got out, I came on the grass and I just watched my car kind of swallow away. Finally went all the way in and almost reminded me of the Titanic when I watched it. Yeah. Josie says she's glad to be OK, even if her car has seen better days. She does have one question, though. How the hell did that happen? I don't know how that happened, but it was small, but I just, it just got bigger and bigger. And I, as soon as I saw the car sinking down, I saw like three quarters of the car come in. I was like, yeah, this is going to be a huge problem. And this sinkhole is going to continue to be a problem for residents out here. The city says a broken water main caused this. So getting that fixed and getting this intersection open again is going to take about a day or two. And in the meantime, water service to nearby homes is going to be shut off while those repairs take place. Amelia, which I'm sure will be an inconvenience, but I'm glad nobody was hurt. Thank you, Alan.